A warm welcome to your session on burglary. Section 9 and 10 of the Theft Act 1968. Brought to you by Solutions Equinox for police learning. My name is Phil Church and I shall be your narrator and guide for this session. Advertise your business or services within our learning videos. Targeted advertising to our learners. Please contact our team for prices at info at solutiusequinox.com. This presentation is brought to you by Solutions Equinox Training Solutions and the SETS channel. The agenda for this session. After some quick introductions from myself, this session will be on burglary, section 91A, and burglary, section 91B, followed by section 10, aggravated burglary. And at the end, you'll see how you can give us some session feedback. Our company background. Solutions Equinox were founded in 2018 after my co-director Jason Hunt and I left the police earlier in 2018 after 22 years and 15 years police service. These are just some of the companies and partners that Jason and I have had the privilege of working with since then. And these are the police services that we have worked for and whilst in the British Transport Police, we were recruit trainers for five years, training and teaching newly recruited police officers in law and procedures and training transferees. If you'd like to know more about us, please feel free to visit our company website at solutiusequinox.com. Take a moment to think about what your needs and expectations are for this burglary session. And at the end, reflect on were your expectations met. If you'd like to learn more, please contact us at info at solutionsequinox.com. Session aims covering burglary section 91A, 91B and section 10 aggravated burglary. At the end of this session hopefully you'll come away with an understanding of what burglary 91A is, an understanding of the offence of burglary section 91B and to understand the offence of aggravated burglary contrary to section 10 of the Theft Act. Burglary, Section 9 of the Theft Act, 1968. Burglary is an offence that is triable either way, so it can be heard at the Magistrates Court or Crown Court depending on the severity of the offence. And if convicted, the offender faces up to 14 years imprisonment on indictment or up to 10 years if not a dwelling, such as a commercial premises or such as a shop or warehouse. Up to six months imprisonment and or a fine if dealt with summarily. It's a recordable offence and a recordable offence is any offence in England and Wales where the police must keep records of convictions and offenders on the police national computer. A recordable offence should not be confused with a notifiable offence. It's also a notifiable offence. A notifiable offence is any offence under United Kingdom law where the police must inform the Home Office who use the report to compile crime statistics. The term notifiable offence is sometimes confused with recordable offence. Aggravated Burglary, Section 10 of the Theft Act, 1968. It's indictable only, so it can only be heard at the Crown Court and if convicted, the offender faces up to life imprisonment. 
it's also a recordable offence and is also a notifiable offence. Burglary, section 91A, the definition. A person who enters a building or part of a building as a trespasser with the intent to steal anything in the building or part of the building or inflict grievous bodily harm on any person therein or do unlawful damage to the building or anything therein shall be guilty of an offence. A person who enters a building or part of a building as a trespasser with the intent to steal anything in the building or part of the building or inflict grievous bodily harm on any person therein or do unlawful damage to the building or anything therein shall be guilty of an offence. And the key elements of this offence are enters, the person must enter a building or part of a building as a trespasser and they must have the intent to steal anything in the building or part of the building or inflict grievous bodily harm or damage the building or anything therein. The three offences of burglary, section 91A. There are three offences which can, and at least one, must appear in burglary, section 91A, to constitute the offence. Theft. Grievous bodily harm. And criminal damage. Remember, there must be one or all of these offences present for this offence of burglary to compete complete. No other criminal offences apply. So if there's no intent to cause theft and or grievous bodily harm and or criminal damage, then there is no burglary contrary to section 91A. Trespassing. Trespass is an integral part of burglary and we must prove that this has taken place to prove the offence. But what do we mean by trespassing? You may wish to ask whether a person is lawfully entitled to be inside a building or part of a building. Let's look at some examples. Imagine an imaginary red line where anyone who passes this with their whole body or parts of their body. In this example, a person entered a building and as he or she did, they did not have the consent to do so, he or she is trespassing. In this example, a person entered a building by inserting their hand or arm through a window without consent. This is trespassing. In this example, a person entered a building by inserting a screwdriver through the window, which is an extension of their hand or arm without consent. This is trespassing. Let's look at some examples where involving trespassing in parts of a building. In this example, a person who was entitled to be in the public area of the store trespassed by entering the storeroom, which was not open to the public. Remember, Trespass is an integral part of proving the offence. Trespass must be present. 
The same rules apply in a public house. Where a person trespasses by either going behind the actual bar area or leaning over the counter. This is because this area is not open to the public and they do not have permission to be there. A person who tricks their way into homes of the vulnerable by pretending to read their gas meter is still trespassing for the purpose of this offence. A person who enters a house lawfully to do repairs in the kitchen may become a trespasser if he or she then enters part of the building where they do not have permission to be. A bedroom, for example. A building for the purposes of burglary. A building must have some degree of permanence, such as a block of flats, a house, a factory, a porter cabin, and a shop. Whereas a yacht, caravan and car, bus and a tent are not considered buildings as they do not have some degree of permanence. Unless they are being used to live in. A bus being used as a home, a caravan on a campsite, even a car could be included if it was parked and no longer used and someone lived in it. However, never a tent, as there is no degree of permanence. The three offences of burglary, section 91A. A reminder. Think German Shepherd Dog. So GBH. Steel. And finally, damage. Remember, there must be one or all of these offences present for this offence of burglary to be complete. No other criminal offences apply for burglary, section 91A. Burglary, Section 91A, with Intent 2. You come across a suspect who has broken into a house and before he or she has done anything else, you arrest him or her. In interview, the suspect admits that he or she intended to either commit GBH steel damage, but was caught before he or she was able to do so. The offence is complete. This is because the intent was inside their head. I'm going to break in and cause some criminal damage inside and assault the occupant and steal his TV. To prove this offence, it therefore hinges on the suspect's intent and the fact that they have entered a building or part of a building as a trespasser. Remember, the key elements of burglary, section 91A. There must be a trespass to prove this offence. Trespass includes entering the premises fully or using a part of the body, including the use of an extension. The building must have some degree of permanence. Never a tent. Section 91A hinges on intent. The person committing the offence has entered as a trespasser and is then caught after they intended to commit one of the three offences, previous bodily harm, theft, damage.
Burglary. Section 91B. Definition. A person who having entered a building or part of a building as a trespasser steals or attempts to steal anything therein or inflicts or attempts to inflict grievous bodily harm on any person therein shall be guilty of an offence. A person who having entered a building or part of a building as a trespasser steals or attempts to steal anything therein or inflicts or attempts to inflict grievous bodily harm on any person therein shall be guilty of an offence. So the key elements of this offence are having entered a building or part of a building as a trespasser steals or attempts to steal anything therein or inflicts or attempts to inflict grievous bodily harm You thought of German Shepherd dogs, now think gin and tonic. GBH and theft. Remember, there must be one or both of these two offences present for this offence of burglary to be complete for section 91B. No other criminal offences apply. Burglary, section 91B, how it differs from section 91A. A homeless person enters a dwelling as a trespasser, intending to find somewhere warm to sleep. No offence of burglary. This is because the trespasser did not enter the dwelling intending to steal, commit damage or commit GBH. So no burglary. Section 91A. However, once the homeless person gets warm, he gets hungry and wants some food to eat. He enters the kitchen looking for food. Offence complete. The homeless person has now committed burglary, Section 91A, because he entered the kitchen as a trespasser intending to steal. The same principles would apply if the homeless person intended to commit GBH or criminal damage. The same homeless person, whilst a trespasser, in the kitchen, steals food out the fridge and eats it. Theft has now been committed. Offence complete. The homeless person has now committed burglary section 91B because having entered the kitchen as a trespasser, he went on to steal. The same principles would apply if the homeless person committed GBH. Remember, criminal damage is not included in burglary section 91b. The homeless person then goes into the bedroom to see what is in there, with no specific intent. Whilst in the bedroom, he sees a locked cupboard and decides he's going to smash it up. This is not burglary section 91a because he did not enter the, with the intent to cause damage. And this is not burglary section 91b because criminal damage is not included in burglary section 91b. Whilst still in the bedroom, the homeless person sees a copper boiler on the wall 
and being of the opinion that it is valuable and he can sell it on, he attempts to pull it off the wall. The police arrive at the scene and catch the homeless person attempting to steal the boiler. Offence complete. The homeless person entered the room as a trespasser and whilst in the room attempted to commit theft. Burglary section 91B. And that is the difference between burglary section 91A and section 91B. Remember, the key elements of burglary section 91B, there must be trespass by having entered the building or part of the building to prove this offence. Having entered includes being fully inside or having part of the body inside and it includes the use of an extension. The building must have some degree of permanence. Never a tent and section 91b hinges on committing theft or GBH or attempting to commit theft and or GBH. Remember, criminal damage is not included in this offence. Aggravated burglary, section 10.1, the definition. Any person who commits any offence of burglary and at the same time has with him or her any firearm or imitation firearm or any weapon of offence or any explosive shall be guilty of an offence. Any person who commits any offence of burglary and at the time has with him or her any firearm or imitation firearm or any weapon of offence, or any explosive, shall be guilty of an offence. The key elements of this offence are then, commits any burglary, and at the time, has with him or her, any firearm or imitation firearm, or any weapon of offence, or any explosive. Has with him her wife. Weapon of offence. Imitation firearm. Firearm. Explosive. Has with him or her means close control or access to. The items must enter the premises at the time of the burglary. Weapon of offence. Weapon of offence, any article made or adapted for use for causing injury to or incapacitating a person or intended by the person having it with them for or her for that purpose. Section 10, 1B of the Theft Act 1968. Firearm, imitation firearm. Firearm includes any air gun or air pistol. Imitation firearm means anything which has the appearance of being a firearm, whether it is capable of discharging or not. And that's section 10 1A of the Theft Act 1968. Explosive. Explosive means any article manufactured for the purpose of producing a practical effect by explosion or intended by the person having it with them for that purpose. Section 10 1C of the Theft Act 1968. Remember, the key elements of aggravated burglary, section 10, 
there must be an offence of burglary. The offender must have his wife with him at the time of the burglary. The wife must enter the premises. Tying someone up is incapacitating them. Asking someone to hold mock explosives is sufficient for the offence and this is incapacitation, not an explosive. Grabbing an item on the spur of the moment to defend yourself from the occupant is not sufficient for the offence. This is called instant arming. Taking an item that has been picked up into another room with the intention to use is sufficient for the offence of aggravated burglary. Thank you for listening. We hope that this bite-sized law presentation was helpful to you and we'll always be grateful for your feedback. You can either leave us a message on our SETS channel or you can email us at info at solutiusequinox.com. Advertise your business or services within our learning videos. Targeted advertising to our learners. Please contact our team for prices at info at